Hello friends, welcome back. At the end of the last video, Ang Yin's rest life is less than one year. Then a lot of things will happen. Before continuing the story, I need to reveal who's the Devil King first. I'm not sure whether the drama will change this storyline, but in the novel, it's Qin Li. She is the third wheel between Chang Qing and Sun Yu in ancient love poetry. In the novel, she used the devil flowers to kill countless soldiers in the war. So Shang Gu exiled her to the netherworld hell. Well, she met the devil god Xuan Yi. He gave her devil power. In fact, Qin Li suggested Hua Shu to borrow the umbrella to refine at the beginning. Hua Shu's father was also ambitious and cultivated devil powers. So they have already connected secretly. Qin Li hated Shang Gu, Chang Qing, and Feng Ran. So she wanted to destroy the three realms peace maintained by them. She first killed Hong Yi's aunt, Chang Qing, and occupied her body. Then she planned to kill Hua Shu's fiancé and shift the blame onto Hong Yi to provoke another war between the immortals and demons. At the wedding, Lan Feng was treated by Hua Shu's father and entered the trap. Qin Li used Chang Qing's body, a night-held fox, to kill him and run away. Later, the immortals found the death and traced clues to Mountain Dazi. Because Hong Yi is also a night-held fox, all the sect disciples insisted Hong Yi wasn't the murderer. The immortals finally left. Ai Yin was nearly dying after hurting by the devil's energy. Gu Jing took her to seek the help of Bi Bo. Meanwhile, the sect disciples were urgently lighting up the night star's heavenly light to protect the mountain from devils. Hong Yi was experiencing a significant thunder trial. Ever thought he would become Shang Jun, an upper-level demon. But he turned out to be a demigod after trial, and was totally controlled by the devil's energy in his body. He ruthlessly killed all the disciples. Yan Shuang rescued one disciple called Qin Yi and escaped. Hong Yi chased after them, but luckily his consciousness returned in a second and didn't kill them. At this moment, the heavenly mortals arrested him. They urgently informed Gu Jing to come back. An Yi was killed by the divine medicine and improved to Shang Jun. They returned hurriedly and was done to see the bloody massacre over the mountain. All their close sect brothers died. Gu Jing didn't say a word, but triggered 81 thunder strikes. Everyone was confused because the number 81 is for upgrading to a guard. Gu Jing unlocked his uncle Tianqi seal under the thunder and burst out his great god power, revealing his original identity, Shang Gu Sang Yuan Qi. Then he sealed the mountain with god power. Here's the foreshadowing. They also will reveal Yuan Qi's intention at the novel's end. His father Bai Jue was reborn the same day and called him to the peach forest. His father comforted and encouraged him. Gu Jing said he decided to solve the issues by himself. Bai Jue knew it was his son's tribulation and no one could interfere. Yuan Qi found Hong Yi was controlled by the devil's energy, but there was no evidence. He had to punish Hong Yi with sound strikes. However, An Yi secretly killed Hong Yi temporarily at the cost of her lifespan and freed him from prison. The models asked Yuan Qi to maintain justice. To protect An Yi from the villain schemes, he decided to get rid of her spirit power so that he would lose her healing ability but save her lifespan. An Yi was disappointed and sad, but before this plan was carried out, another incident happened. In the Fox Clan, Qin Li killed the demon king Sun Hong and framed the immortals with the help of Hua Shu's father. She finally provoked the war between the two realms. The war started soon. Yuan Qi and Hong Yi were battling fiercely. By the way, Hong Yi had wiped out the devil's energy in his body with the help of the parasol tree, Feng Yan. He even upgraded to a ten-tailed fox and became a god too. An Yi rushed to stop the war. Since An Yi freed Hong Yi, to calm down the hate from the immortals, she asked Yuan Qi to punish her with sound strikes to end the war. But Yuan Qi didn't know that Hua Shu had already given her six sound strikes. If he continued, An Yi would definitely die. In fact, An Yi only wished to die and free herself. She blamed herself for adopting Hong Yi in the mountain, indirectly leading to the massacre. She didn't want to see anyone die anymore. Under the thunder, An Yi gradually became transparent in front of Yuan Qi. Yuan Qi finally broke down. From then on, An Yi studied her reincarnations in the human realm for over a thousand years. Every time she died and became a ghost, she would meet the ghost king Ao Gu and they made friends. At first, she always died early before 20, but from the 28th reincarnation, her miserable fate suddenly changed. She was reborn into a business family and later became a wealthy businesswoman. 
She had experienced the female general, the princess dowager, and other beautiful lives. After her last reincarnation, she finally awakened as the Phoenix Queen, Feng Yin. All right, in the next video, Feng Yin's return will bring many changes. In the end, she will discover what Yuan Qi secretly did for the Mountain Dazi. Thank you for being so supportive. See you in the next video.